Hi gang, today is gonna be a happy one, a sad one, and I think a little bit somewhere in between. <laughs> it is our last day at Disneyland. <laughs> Come along. It's based off our name. And we did do a thing. We have actually purchased our very first Lightning Lane Genie Plus. We've had it at Better late than never, I guess, right? <laughs> exactly. We've had it at Walt Disney World for a while. We've never, ever done it. I think I bought like a single Lightning Lane before, but this is our first day. We're like, you know what? If we're gonna go out, let's go out with style. Let's get on as many rides if we can, if not all of them. But first, we're gonna go grab a little breakfast because we're starving. Hungry. <laughs> to the Red Rose Tavern, which is their Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant. And I'm gonna get the garden mozzarella flatbread. It's seasoned with tomatoes, fresh mozzarella basil, balsamic glaze, and tomato sauce for $9.99. And Travis is gonna get the cheddar ranch burger. It's a third pound Angus beef patty, cheddar, cheese curds, pickles, and pepperoncini ranch on a toasted bun with thick cut french fries for $13.79. And if we're at a Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant, we have to get the gray stuff. It's white chocolate mousse and red velvet cake with a raspberry center for $5.99. These are the carrot Caramel Vanilla Cold Brews. They're Caramel Vanilla and Cinnamon Cold Brew with a little bit of cream for $5.99. And this is definitely a breakfast, brunch, lunch, feast. Look how awesome this little cold brew is. It's definitely giving me Le Fou's Brew vibes being here in the Red Rose Tavern. Yeah. And anything Beauty and the Beast theme. You would just have to get the gray stuff and I love their version. It's like on a little shortbread cookie and then the portions for these flatbreads and the cheeseburgers. So good, right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> As he stuffs his face with the delicious, delicious steak fries. I feel like I have to try the gray stuff first. You know, dessert before anything. Let's give it a go. Are you really gonna do that? You guys would not believe this, but it tastes delicious. Look at this flatbread. I know that this place is so similar to like our Pinocchio's kind of tavern in Walt Disney World, but it definitely the items are different. And I cannot wait to dive into this flatbread with the fresh mozzarella and the balsamic drizzle on there. Oh yeah, I will be this place's guest anytime. <laughs> well, Red Rose Tavern was literally riveting. Um, this whole trip, we really have not had advanced dining reservations. I wanted to experience all their walk-ups because there were so many different options and the food is definitely hitting different. That flatbread was so good. It literally felt like an elevated flatbread. It wasn't just like a Disneyland pizza. But now since we're in Fantasyland and we're hanging out, I want to get on a ride. We did make our first Lightning Lane reservation for... Hyperspace Mountain, first day, baby. Yep, so they just dropped Hyperspace Mountain, which basically is the Star Wars version of Space Mountain. So we're like, let's grab a Lightning Lane for that, and then while we're waiting on it, we'll get on some rides in Fantasyland. And I have not got to check out Pinocchio's daring journey yet, so let's go say hi to the little guy. Fun 
going on an adventure with Pinocchio. I just love the dark rides here and there are so many of them. Um, none of them are available for Lightning Lane, but they're usually really, really short waits. So I think we're about to head to another one, which is Alice in Wonderland. And we're waiting in line and I think a little cavalcade parade is coming through here. <laughs> Baby goes in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Another dark ride for my fancy. So. Cups are outside in the open. They have these beautiful lanterns above. It's so fun to get to see people spinning round, round, round. And now we're entering the world of tomorrow to head on to the ever beloved Autopia. Number four, and we got the classic red Honda. Oh. Crazy driver. <laughs> Look at him. His knees are almost up outside the car. They're actually a little smoother than I was thinking. Oh, look, some space people. Osmo. And it's space bird. Oh, off road in. Oh, no. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Hi, monorail. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, it 
It is almost time for our lightning lane for Hyperspace Mountain, but before seeing a brand new Star Wars ride to meet, let's go see an old classic over at Star Tours. Introducing the IC360 Intelligent Camera System, available exclusively on all Star Tours flights. It's fun to board Star Tours. We're boarding. We're boarding today. I haven't done this in so long, even though we have one in Walt Disney World. It's been a minute. You are cleared for departure. Initiate takeoff sequence. What? Auto takeoff sequence initiated. Ah, to D2, what's going on here? We are not ready for takeoff. The captain isn't on board yet. You never can fly this thing. No, neither can you. We need a proper pilot. Hold it right there, Captain. Oh, no, I'm not actually the Captain. We're looking for this rebel spot. The speeder we're looking for is the blaster. Heels up, Hartu! don't you dare make the jump to my feet. or all will be lost. May the Force be with you. I'm afraid we've all just joined the Rebel Alliance. Where are we going? All right, well now it's the moment I know I have been waiting for, a hyper space mountain. In case I didn't already talk about this, it is Space Mountain with a Star Wars overlay. So basically our favorite thing. themed thing so it was just it was so great they could actually just change it to a Star Wars theme ride and I'd be okay with it well dang Tomorrowland you had a lot for us already today but now it is time to head into Frontierland we were able to grab another lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain and we haven't got to do it yet on this trip so I'm super super pumped all right we're scanned into the lightning lane right babe that's right so it's 136 when we scan in, so let's see how long it takes. Let's and see if it is as lightning as they say it is. Yeah, and then standby was 60. 60 minutes, so let's see how fast the lightning lane can get us on. So we are about to board, and it is. It only ended up being about 10 minutes. Yeah. For a 60 minute wait, so yeah. Definitely worth it. Pretty lightning. <laughs> if I do hit some more. It's a wild ride in the wilderness! It most certainly is. I'm gonna I know. Hold on to your ears.
fast to get on and a super fast ride. I definitely think our version of Thunder Mountain in Florida might be a little bit more of the wildest ride. Yeah. Definitely a little faster, crazier, but I loved their explosion effect, the yeah. TNT. The dynamite, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really cool. Yeah, I had forgotten about that, and then I just remember when we got on, I was like, make sure you show all the dynamite going off. That's a cool effect that we don't have at ours. So, yeah, yeah, it was definitely dynamite. And going on all those rides made us super hungry, so we hopped over here to yeah. Bengal Barbecue to try one of their Bengal beef skewers. They're made in a sweet Zulu sauce for $6.49. We also had to get their very famous tiger tail breadstick. It's a garlic, herb, and cheese breadstick for $3.99. Then we had this drink the other day, so I had to get it again. It's their jungle julep. It's a refreshing slush of pineapple, orange, grape, and lemon juices. Non-alcoholic for $5.99. This is the delicious julep that I have been wanting. And for me to buy a drink that is $6 that does not have have a little bit of rum in it it is telling you how delicious it is it's refreshing it's like the grape is probably my favorite part it's like a delicious grape slushy mm. so so good it coming out of the big like kind of boba straw and look at this tiger tail it literally looks like I caught a tiger by the tail now let's catch it with my mouth oh my god you're gonna love this it's like garlicky, cheesy bread, deliciousness. And they do have two different types of beef skewers. One is a spicy one and one is just like a regular Mongolian kind of style beef skewer. So we got both to try it out. I had already tried the spicy one before, earlier in the week, and it was really good. So I want to try just like the regular classic beef one. Look at the glaze on there and it just it makes it so much more delicious because you see them grilling it fresh. They're smoking it, grilling it, giving it all that delicious flavor. Yep. Tastes very, very bangly. I actually personally think that I prefer the spicy one, but I'm always gonna tend to like spicier things um, as well as Travis does. But if you're not into spice, definitely get the regular beef one and it's equally as delicious. And while we were eating our delicious Bengal barbecue, which I just want more and more and more of it, even down to this julep, you guys. I know that Disneyland is known for their mint juleps, but I'm telling you, this is where it's at, at Bengal barbecue for sure. But while we were eating, we were able to grab a lightning lane for Splash Mountain. And Splash Mountain is actually my favorite ride in Walt Disney World, so I'm super pumped to check out Disneyland's version. Okay. Look guys, we're back to back instead of side to side. That's so weird. Alright, first drop. their Splash Mountain. It was so different getting to ride like back to back instead of side by side. Oh, my, what, yeah. what did you think? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, 
it's definitely different. To get to see the inside with all the black light and stuff, everything was really, really similar. I think ours, you do get a little more wet on, but we, we got perfectly wet. And you guys, we have done seven rides already, which is like crazy. The park is open till midnight. There are gonna be fireworks tonight also, which I'm very, very excited for. As of right now, they did bring fireworks back as well as the nighttime parades, but it's only on the weekend. So tonight is our last day. It's our last time to try to catch these fireworks. So we're definitely gonna be back and see how many more rides we can get on with our lightning ring. Finally found a spot for fireworks. It is very busy like because they're only having fireworks on the weekends as of right now. So we found a spot, right T? Yep. He's got his camera all set up to take some bangers. We're waiting on Disneyland forever. And I've waited forever to see these for sure. <laughs> Over 60 years ago, he envisioned a magic kingdom. But his man's name was Walt Disney, and his dream would be called Disneyland. It's still sad that while is there the imagination left in the world of Disneyland will never be complete. Into 
its magical gates will feel forever young. And the magic, as Walt assured us, will never end. What did you guys think of Disneyland Forever? Did it get you in the feels? It definitely got us in the feels. It was so cool to hear them talk about the park and to hear songs I haven't heard before. I definitely will say if you can get here a little bit earlier than we did to get a little bit more center seat, but even for the, the, the view that we got, we waited about two hours for. We're just gonna continue hanging out at Disneyland for the evening. We might take you on Haunted Mansion and then and then we'll see. We got a lightning lane for it. have received your sympathetic vibrations. ride you guys at Disneyland. Yeah. The Disneyland Railroad. you guys I am we are physically mentally emotionally <laughs> exhausted which is you don't really want to say that about your honeymoon but when it was this good of a trip you kind of do this trip has been such a long time in the making I've been trying to get to Disneyland for years and everything has gotten in the way and I'm so happy that we finally made it here together together is is the most important thing we rode so many other rides today I think we got on like 12 rides right yeah lightning lane was definitely worth it for today for our last day so yeah that's what we always tell people like lightning lane isn't gonna be like an everyday thing it's for those special <laughs> days like your last day at Disney yeah, I'm glad we got it today because we were able to accomplish a lot. We got to see the fireworks. 
Yeah, yeah it was just, so, yeah. I mean, just Good amazing. Uh, I just can't wait to come back. Thanks for bringing me here. It was like, Thanks for coming <laughs> Mickey's still celebrating behind us. Thank you guys for coming along on this whole journey. It means so much to me. Please leave a comment below. Have you been to Disneyland? But for now, peace, love, and positivity. Good, thanks. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.